Madrid is a stunning location, but navigating its streets may be difficult. Even well-prepared tourists need to refuel after a day of sightseeing and museum visits. What restaurants are nearby to the Royal Palace, the Prado, and the Reina Sofia Museums? This will be a spectacular gastronomic trip, with everything from quick snacks to sumptuous Michelin star dinners. But a restaurant's success depends on more than just the quality of the food. Fortunately, restaurants in Madrid are adept at pleasing a crowd with the ideal balance of form and function at anything from upscale eateries designed for special events and opulent experiences to cozy informal eateries that serve delicious meals you'll want to savor repeatedly. When in Madrid, go after the Spanish and unwind, enjoy a drink of wine, and take your time eating. Restaurants in Madrid won't ever rush you because life and experiences here are meant to be enjoyed. Number 10. Sobrino de Botín Sobrino de Botín is acknowledged by the Guinness Book of World Records as the earliest restaurant in town. It was first established in 1725 as an inn. With low ceilings, exposed brick, and dark wooden furnishings, Sobrino de Botín serves traditional Madrid and Castilian cuisine, such as roast lamb, suckling pig, garlic soup, handmade pudding, and chocolate cake. The establishment is well known for being mentioned in works by Ernest Hemingway, Graham Greene, Benito Perez Galdos, and Ramon Gomez de la Serna. Sobrino de Botín, which is close to the famed Plaza Mayor, is open every day for lunch and dinner. Number 9. La Isla del Tesoro La Isla del Tesoro is a quirky, romantic vegetarian restaurant that offers inventive, healthful meals in a setting that evokes a South Pacific shipwreck. Consider ordering the Buen Rulito appetizer for a taste of Spanish puns. In addition, the main meal of Seitan Tantan and the dessert of chocolate gocho are both excellent. While the a la carte menu is a constant offering of many meals with varied international influences, the set value price lunch menus are daily changes with a different country theme, such as Pakistan or Indonesia. Only open for lunch and dinner, the restaurant is situated in the Malasa district. Reservations can be made over the phone or online, and they are strongly advised. Number 8. El Chaflan El Chaflan offers top-notch Spanish Nouvelle cuisine. A beautiful dining ambiance is created by the candles and soft lighting. Try the squid and lentil soup to start, then savor a glass of German Riesling. Choose from a range of sorbets, mousses, and ice cream for dessert. The courteous waitstaff will explain each meal being served, and they are quite informed. El Chaflan, which has just undergone renovations, consistently ranks at the top of lists of Madrid's best restaurants for both its food and its updated decor. A real olive tree that is growing out of the floor serves as the focal point of the indoor-outdoor dining area, which also has a sizable glass window that provides a view of their demonstration kitchen. Chef J.P. Philippe has created his own balanced and distinctive style of Spanish cuisine, which expertly combines the freshest ingredients with sophisticated techniques and regional traditions. He and his colleagues expertly blend fragrant herbs, genuinely fresh greens and vegetables, fish from the shore, and beef from the rural areas of Spain. Number 7. El Bodegón There is no need to search further if you want to enjoy an evening of great food. This very formal restaurant offers a spectacular lunch by fusing grandeur and excellent cuisine. There are various options available, including venison bourguignon, shellfish au gratin escoffier, and grilled filet mignon with béarnais sauce. Don't forget to end your dinner with a delectable dessert, like one of their pastries with citrus fruits. Retro and Salamanca Metro El Bodegón has a strong Latin American feel, with grilled Argentine steaks, popular Peruvian ceviches and tiraditos, as well as expertly made pisco sours on the menu. Among the treats are alfajores and cornstarch biscuits stuffed with dulce de leche. Number 6. La Broche the sparkling white La Broche, which is now seven years old, continues to set the bar for Madrid's upmarket dining scene. Ferran Adrià's El Bui restaurant and food laboratory in Catalonia served as the training ground for chef Sergei Arola. He has the same interest in modifying textures and removing essences. Some of his creations nearly defy description. Examples include a confit of coxcombs, a salad of sea and land snails cooked in lard, a deconstructed Catalan stew of beans, and a loin of a horse with tomato bonbons. Desserts from Teixema Puente are no less bizarre. Imagine licorice ravioli with gin froth and black beer ice cream. 
prices might vary greatly depending on the menu you select, from affordable to extravagant. Since 1998, this quaint eatery has been a mainstay of the community. The liberal cooking of Eric Few is the key to its success, occasionally adding a new twist to traditional cuisine. Because the chef is a qualified pastry cook, save room for dessert. Number 5. Viridiana Using classic Spanish recipes, Chef Abraham Garcia invents fresh, creative dishes with wit and imagination. Based on seasonal ingredients, the menu is updated frequently. It's possible to find red onions packed with morcilla one week and exotic greens with smoked salmon the next. Try and visit more than once and sample different menu items. You'll be happy that you did. The restaurant's sense of humor is evident wherever you look, whether it's in the menu, the decor, or the service. Three menu changes per month are typical. One of Madrid's most comprehensive wine lists, with selections from every conceivable denomination of origin, can be found in Viridiana. Since Abraham Garcia himself made the extra virgin olive oil they use, even the oil itself is therefore unique. Number 4. Opazzo one of the best restaurants in Spain is Opazzo, which serves seafood from Galicia. The restaurant, which first operated in 1969, underwent remodeling in 2008. Now, with its dark tones and wood elements, Opazzo's design is upscale, cozy, and almost masculine, quickly established a presence in Madrid's burgeoning dining scene, eventually becoming one of the select few eateries to get a Michelin Red Guide star in Spain's first edition. The fish and seafood restaurant could not have existed without Evaristo Garcia, proprietor of Pescaderias Coruñesas, who acquired it in 1981. Bringing the greatest product to your shores and developing an easy preparation to bring out the natural flavors have been the key objectives. The fish and shellfish soup is a must-try, it is worth the journey alone. There are dishes with chabungo ham, spider crabs, baby eels, Galician scallops, and a wonderful seafood casserole on the varied menu. You'll see that the seasoning isn't overdone in this instance since the restaurant wants the food's inherent flavors to stand out. For lovers of seafood, please do not miss this! Number 3. Terraza del Casino With its burning chandeliers, flaking stucco, and silver candlesticks, this opulent old 19th century restaurant has undergone a remarkable Ferran Adria transformation. As a result, the dishes and decor are strikingly at odds. Since 1998, the Catalan wonder chef has added his distinctive avant-garde weirdness to the menu, which is presently under the direction of Paco Roncero, his deputy. Try curiosities like cornflake paella or barnacles in aspic with tea, along with more conventional Spanish fare, all of which are expertly prepared, if you have $300 to spend on a meal for two. The simplest option is to select the sampler menu, at which point you can just relax and marvel. The terrace offers stunning views of Madrid on a balmy summer night. Number 2. Sant Saloni the stylish Madrid establishment is named after Santi Santamara's hometown. Santamara is the mastermind of the three-star Racco de Canfabes in Sant Saloni, close to Barcelona. It is managed by Scar Velasco, a dependable deputy who spent many years working for Santamara. In addition to some of Santamara's well-known specialty dishes, like ravioli of sliced raw shrimp with a seps filling, Velasco may serve Mediterranean lobster grilled with a lemon-flavored gratin and fresh baby peas, wild mushroom. The outstanding wine selection features a variety of contemporary Catalan wines from regions like the Emporda and Costres del Segre. Each course's wine pairing is gladly provided by the sommelier. Number 1. Zalacane one of Madrid's top restaurants, the magnificent Zalacane is renowned for being intimate, pricey, and private. Scampi and cider sauce stew, red wine braised duck, and lobster salad are just a few of the mouth-watering meals. If you're having trouble deciding, you can purchase a fixed-price sampler menu. Try one of their sweets before you depart, like the delectable chocolate volcano. A significant fixture on the Spanish restaurant scene, Zalacane offers a tasting menu in addition to an a la carte menu that includes several of its classic dishes, including telagori cod, steak tartare, and the bocado don po, with smoked salmon, quail's eggs, and caviar. All of the previously displayed restaurants are amazing, but which one is your favorite and why? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below.